Aloha, and thank you for joining me today. Hey, I'm going to do a breakfast, and then I'm gonna head down to one of my favorite beaches and snorkel with my new underwater camera. And then I may go have another breakfast. I don't know, but hey, thanks for joining me, and let's go right now. Hey, this morning, I actually set out to show you the top 10 breakfast places in Kihei. But you know, about half of them are closed. Nalu's is closed, Sorrento is closed. Um, God, I just kept pulling into places down at Dolphin Plaza. All three of those places are closed. So I'm gonna change up gears today. I'm gonna go have breakfast across the street at my favorite breakfast place. Uh, it's kind of laid back a little bit. Prices are good, good Southern comfort food. You probably know where I'm talking about. It's called Kihei Cafe. Hey, when uh, things don't go your way, the going gets tough, like I always tell you, go to Kihei Cafe. I parked across the street from Kihei Cafe at Kalama Park. Big park, lots of parking spaces. Don't have to be looking for parking over close to Kihei Cafe. Fun park to walk around. It's got a really good kind of beach walkway along the shoreline. All right, let's head over to Kihei Cafe. Oh my gosh, Charlie Brown, is that a beautiful sight? Kihei Cafe with no line out the door. In fact, there's nobody even sitting there eating. Oh man, I think this is heaven. <laughs> Boy, this virus, ah, there's a lot of bad, but Coming to Kihei Cafe and nobody here, that's awesome. Let's go. Yeah, let me try the huevos rancheros. Uh, scrambled is fine. Uh, no, thank you. Wow, this is a first. The only one at Kihei Cafe. All right, here is my huevos rancheros. Perfect breakfast. Not too much, kind of light. All right. Okay, I'm leaving Kihei Cafe right across the street. Talked to the owner and he said they'll be opening the one in Lahaina Town in December. Man, I can't wait to have a Kihei Cafe in Lahaina Town. All right, let's head south on South Kihei Road and go find a beach. I am at the Monokai Maui, Monokai Maui Resort. So where am I folks? Do you know the name of this beach? If you've followed me very long, you should know where I am. So where am I? I am at Kea Wakapu. Wakapu with a W. A couple videos ago, I called it with an M. It is Kea Wakapu here on the south end of Kihei. 
Let me show you some of this beach. I didn't show you that much of Kea Wakapu last time. I was so excited to get to happy hour at Five Palms. Here's on the north end, and there's a couple people out there snorkeling. There's a guy getting ready. This is where I'm going to go snorkel with my new camera. Hey, thanks to all of you who have asked about Patricia. At the end of the show, I'll tell you where she is and why. And by the way, she's fine and we're fine, but she's not on Maui. I'll tell you at the end. This is a really nice walk along this beach in the morning. Just walking down the beach here at Kea Wakapu. This is a long beach, folks. It's a, probably a good mile up and down this one. I'll have to look on YouTube and see. TripAdvisor, yeah, this is a great beach. Hey, I am back at the car where I am going to switch my shirt and also switch cameras. I'm going to put my cell phone in the car and take out my new underwater camera. Isn't that a beautiful thing? I actually put this little tripod on it to kind of give it a handle. This is my new underwater camera. It shoots in 4K. I'm only gonna shoot in 1080p, high def. So the next scenes, the next videos you see should be underwater, I hope. By the way, let me tell you now, I got several of these. So if you wanna to come to the Thirsty Turtle on Front Street and rent one from me, I'll probably do like $20, $25 for three days, let you take it out and get a lot of good underwater pictures and videos of your family and you and everybody. So anyway, I'm gonna be renting these, but let's go take a look at how good it does right now. I'm ready to go, man, I'm so excited.
Hey guys, there is nothing like a couple of hours of snorkeling. <laughs> I tell you, I'm exhausted, but a lot of fun. See a lot of fish. As soon as you get out, you're going to start seeing fish. Big fish, little fish, pretty good sized ones. So hope you enjoyed the video. Man, I love my new camera. I just kind of got to get used to it a little bit. I'm kind of jerky a little bit. Got to hold it firm and just stay right on the fish. But anyway, hope you enjoyed that. So what's up next? Hey. I'm next to Five Palms. What can I say? I think I need to go over and check out Five Palms. Maybe a late brunch, early lunch. Let's go. This is the entrance to Five Palms Beach Grill. Let's go check out brunch, maybe lunch. Whatever, man. I'm hungry after snorkeling just right out there. All right, my Bloody Mary. Wow, that is an awesome Bloody Mary. Bacon, olives, peppers. Menu is pretty typical. Omelets, several different eggs benedict. Pancakes. Breakfast entrees. And banana nut, banana mac nut pancakes, $14.95. Here's my Eggs Benedict, kind of my brunch after snorkeling. Man, it's hard work. You build up an appetite. <laughs> okay, I hate to say it, but it's time to leave Five Palms. Man, this was an excellent breakfast. Kind of a more of a brunch, close to the noon hour, one of the best eggs benedict on the island absolutely awesome hey thank you for joining me today what a fun day i kind of had a breakfast beach snorkel underwater video and then another breakfast brunch and jeez what a great day what a great morning here at kea wakapu all right hey i told you i'd tell you about where patricia is she's fine she caught a repatriation flight back to her homeland, which is Thailand. Patricia is from Thailand, and her mother and father were not doing well at all. So she caught a flight on Delta from Maui to Los Angeles out of LAX, a repatriation flight. Thailand is not having anyone come in or go out of the country. So they are having some special charters by Korean Airlines out of Los Angeles, out of New York, out of Chicago. She caught that flight. About 14 hours, went back over Maui, all the way into Seoul, South Korea, waited a few hours, and then into Bangkok. She immediately went into 14-day quarantine. Now, let me tell you, they're serious over there. 70 million people, 58 deaths. She went into quarantine, very small government hotel. They don't mess around, three meals a day, doctors, nurses coming by to check on her, and she was there 14 days. Hey, like always, I miss her. I wish she'd get back. Hi, Patricia. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep shooting video. Hope you enjoyed today. I'm not going to give you the summary of it. Hope you enjoyed it. The underwater video, my new camera. Hey, I look forward to shooting some more beaches here real soon. Some things you've never seen. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.